In this Blizzard tutorial, you will learn how to create a data grid along with its search and sort functionality. So first let's create a project. Select Blazor. And then we will put the name to Data Grid Blazor App. Create. Select the Blazor Server App. Create. Then we will click on the project and then manage new get package. Click on browse and then search for redzen. And here it is redzen.blazer. So install. Now we'll open the imports.razor file. So here we will have all the imports and then here we will add our redzen. So using redzen and redzen.blazor. Then we'll open the host.chtml. And here we'll add our CSS. So we'll add the Redzen CSS here. And also our JavaScript. Let's add a new Razor component. And we will put the name to datagrid.razor. Then in folder data, we will add a new clause. So we'll put it product.cs. And here we will add our model. So we will add int product ID. and a string of product name. Then a double of selling price and date time purchase date, get and set. Then we will add another clause. Namely product service.cs. And here we will add our async task list product product list. And then our list of product. And inside it, we will add our product. Product ID equal to one. 
product name equal to co selling price equal to 10 250 .50. and purchase date equal to convert to date time 1st May 2021 so let's copy it and paste it then we will return the result so we will change the data So these products are what will be displayed on the front end. Now let's open the data grid that razor. And here we will add our page directive. So slash data grid. Then we will inject the product service. I enumerable product Then we will add our uninitialized method product equal to await the task that run. to product service dot product list and then on our front end we will add we will add a code so if product equal to equal to null Loading will be displayed. Else, the red Zen data list will be displayed. Red Zen allow us to add different functionality. And here we will add allow paging equal to true. and allow filtering true filter case sensitive will be filter case sensitive dot case sensitive so it will take case sensitive into consideration and page size will put it to 4 allow sorting true data will be the data which will be displayed so it will be product at product and then t the item will be the product and column width will be 150 px And inside it, we will add our columns. 
So the first one will be product ID. And second one, product name. Third, selling price and fourth purchase date. Then we will add our template. So template context equal to data. And here we will add add string that format and we will add the date format. Reason grid column items equal to product. Let's go to the shared folder and open the nav menu that razor. And here we will copy this one and paste it under it. Then we will put the data list. So this is a nav menu and it will be displayed on the front end. Now let's go to the data grid.razor. So we'll copy the page directive from the data grid.razor and paste it here so that when we click on it, it will navigate to the data grid. And now let's open the startup.cs. Here we will go to the configure services and in it we will add services that are scoped and here we will add the product services clause which we have created. Let's run it now, guys. So we have an error. Oh, so so this error is here. I have added a dot in the await task run. So we need to remove the dot. And here it is. Let's run it now, guys. Here it is guys, but we have a problem here. We have the, we have another column, which is not required, the price column, and we will remove it. So let's remove it and rerun. So here we go. Thanks for watching guys and if you like what I do, do support my channel by subscribing, liking and don't forget to also check the other Blazer videos on my channel. Thank you.